Hey, this is Mike with Calcera, and today I'm going to be showing you how to load media into ZT510 printer. We get a lot of requests of how to properly load it, uh, what we should watch out for, what rollers you know the media has to be loaded under, over where the media sensors, and uh, how to properly calibrate it. To properly load the media, we're going to open the media cover. We're going to open the print head right over here, and since this is a four-inch um, printer i'm going to be using the four inch labels as well so first first things first we're going to go under this media uh, sensing roller right over here into the print head assembly and we're going to be focusing also going under if you have a snap plate over here and you're using the uh, ribbon we're going to be on the going underneath this plat uh, plate over here and the label will come out here so let me show you how this thing is done and I'll show you the end results. So we're gonna go under this roller right over here. As well, there's another roller here. You can use your finger to kind of roll it through to make sure that your labels get to the uh, main assembly. There is a little bit of difficulties where the label sometimes gets stuck underneath here and there's a little gash, um, like a gap in between the roller and the plate itself. Uh, I usually just use my finger to get the uh, media to that gap. And what we'll do is we'll just push it through and then lo load it all the way at the end. So let me show you how I load it. So you have your uh, snap plate right over here and that it's uh, reflective using the um, reflective surface right over here to sense if there is a ribbon. So if you're using a direct uh, thermal um, printing, you do not uh, need to worry about the snap plate, but it comes standard. So you always want to keep it in just in case you install a ribbon. But if you do have a ribbon, you'll be lo loading the ribbon, which I'm gonna show you shortly how to do it. You're gonna load it back over here. You have to have the snap plate in order for you to detect the ribbon itself. But this is how you have the labels. You will go underneath the this roller right here, this roller right over here, and the labels usually get stuck right in between the this roller and the um, print head. So as I said, there is a little um, gap right underneath here. Um, this right here, I use you, you just use my finger. Uh, just to push up the label so it's easier to um, get this going. And these are the sensors right here. There's a media sensor right over here that slides. And just make sure that if you do slide this one, the top one that's a reflector right over here is also positions in the same um, general direction. So as you can see right over here, uh, there is a red light. Uh, let me just see if I can show you. So this red light should be pointed right where this screw is as well. So if you can't move the top over here because you will have to unscrew it, move the bottom one. So the bottom one, the bottom light is pointed directly, shining directly onto the um, black sensor where the screw is. Just like so. So you now have the light is pointing directly onto this black thing over here. So that's, those are your sensors and make sure that your labels are nicely tucked right over here. So you're gonna use your media guide um, tab right over here so it prevents the labels from shifting. And now let's just close the print head. We're gonna close the toggle bars right over here. And let's just rotate the printer so you see the front, what they're gonna come out out of. They are properly calibrated and it detects perfectly because you can just tear the labels off perfectly and if for any reason um, this doesn't work because you have a very unusual labels label design it could be you know that you have uh, rounded labels or it's not being detected you can manually calibrate this so you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go um, To media ribbon calibration you're going to hit start and it's going to say remove backing 
um, and remove ribbon. So we don't have a ribbon at the moment, but if you did have a ribbon, you will have to remove it. And what it means to remove backing, you're just gonna remove a couple of the labels from the backing. So this paper right over here is called backing. So we're just gonna remove several labels and we're gonna roll it back to where the media sensor guides are to make sure, just like so. We're gonna close the print head and we'll press the pause button and it says calibrating, please wait. All right, it says reload all. So what we'll do is we'll pull the labels back. So now we have the labels back in place. If you had a ribbon, you will put the ribbon back in. You're gonna press the pause button again. And it's gonna go through several labels. And once it calibrates, it'll stop. So it's perfectly calibrated and it's already done. So you're gonna go to go home and you can rewind all the labels back up again, just to make sure you don't lose any good labels. You can close the printer, press, um, you know, pause it back again. And this time it's gonna calibrate with less labels. And there you go, fully calibrated. Now I'm gonna show you how to install a ribbon and calibrate the printer with the ribbon itself. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, load a ribbon onto ZT510 right now. Uh, there is a guide that is posted right on top of the cover. Um, so you can see how to load and unload um, different uh, media types. Just you have to follow the arrows right over here. Um, but I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to do it. So when you uh, do uh, install the ribbon, just make sure that your ribbon is as wide or even wider than your labels. Since this is a four inch um, labels, I have four inch ribbon that I'm gonna be installing. And what we'll do is we're gonna just follow the arrow. So I'm gonna install the ribbon that's gonna be unwinding this way because that's how the arrows are pointing. And at the end of the ribbon, I'm gonna just grab a blank label that still has its backing on that will help me load the ribbon. So I'm just gonna peel a little bit off of it and I'm gonna put that ribbon right in between the label itself and that will help me load it. So what we'll do is we'll feed it right underneath the roller that's behind the print head, the small roller right over here, underneath the print head like this and over. And now let me show you the other, uh, the next step. And the next step will be just again, follow the, the arrow. So we're gonna go underneath this, roll right over here, tighten up, and then just spin it several times to make sure that the pulley grabbed it. I'm gonna close the print head slowly. We can make a couple more turns to remove any creases that are forming right over here on the print head itself, um, right here. So let's just uh, turn a couple more times and we're gonna close the print head. And now since the printer has been calibrated for direct thermal, we will have to make changes to your settings. I'm gonna show you that how to do that next. Very important step is also when loading the ribbon is to make sure that your snap plate is installed. That will, it pretty much controls um, when the printer detects the ribbon. If this plate is missing, your um, printer will not be able to detect the ribbon. So just make sure that is installed. And right here, right now on the thing, we, on the control panel, we are going to be changing the um, media sensing. So right now the printer is configured to have um, direct thermal and we're gonna be do uh, doing a thermal transfer. So if I press the pause button right now and the printer uh, starts calibrating, it should let me know that there is detecting the ribbon and that's why you have the light blinking right over here. So if I go back, error message ribbon in. So now we have to change it to make sure that the printer is gonna be using the ribbon and not the uh, print head itself. So you're gonna go to settings and we're gonna change the print method from direct thermal to 
uh, thermal transfer. I'm gonna click OK. And that little blinking light just went away. So now in order for it to work properly, and uh, you know this is your first time, I would suggest that you're gonna do a manual calibration. So we're gonna go to uh, Tools, and we're gonna go to Media Ribbon Calibration. You're gonna hit Start, and it's gonna say Low Backing Remove Ribbon. So let me just put this down over here. So what we'll do is we are going to remove the backing from the labels. Um, I mean, it's low backing, so we're gonna remove a couple of the labels from the backing of this roller here. And just do like three or four labels, depending on you know, what kind of labels you have. Since I have like a sticker price labels, it's easier to do it. So I'll just open the print head. What I'll do is I will remove the ribbon. So I'm just gonna completely take it off. I'm gonna back up the labels to make sure that wherever the media sensing is, right over here, you can see only the backings. There's no labels and see that red light right over here. That's what uh, it's detecting it. And same thing over here, this sensor right here detects the ribbon. So now, right now there's no ribbon. We're gonna be closing the print head. We're gonna press the pause button. And it says calibrating, please wait. Now it says reload all. So what we'll do is we're gonna reload everything. Meaning that we're gonna pull the labels out so they're, they're sticking out, there's no more backing. And I'm just gonna be reinstalling the ribbon. Just gonna load it the same way. Just gonna use the piece of label to help me load it easier easier just to get a piece of it go underneath right through here just like so now underneath the spooler tuck it in turn a couple times and then what i'll do is i'll lower the print head and not closing it yet, I'm gonna pull it a couple more times just to remove all these like creases that you see there. And now I'm gonna close the print head. I'm gonna press the pause button and let it finish calibrating. And now my printer is fully calibrated. I'm gonna go home, exit, and we're done.